Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Joji. I do makeup tutorials and makeup reviews here on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, I am going to show you two lipstick shades from Dior. This is part of their holiday collection right here. I have the Diorific, the Atelier of Dreams. I have two shades right here. I have the Rouge Cappuccine or Rouge Cappuccini. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It is a satin finish and I also have the Taupe. Ispahan, it is a matte finish. So we're going to see all of that today. The packaging of this is very, very interesting. I think it is cute and I haven't seen something like this before. So we're going to see that today. Also on my last video, I uploaded another Dior holiday collection, which is the Ecrine Couture palette for face, eyes, and lips. So if you are planning to get that this holiday season, make sure to watch that first so that you can know what to expect from that palette. I'm going to put the link on the description down below. So make sure to check that after. So in this video, I am going to do lip swatching, demo application. Also, I'm going to tell you about my thought at the very end of this video. So if you are curious to see all of that, just keep on watching. Alright, let's open this up and I cannot wait to show you guys how this looks like. To me, it's really cute and it reminds me of a fragrance as you can see there. It is so cute. It's quite heavy too. So it's like a solid thing that you are holding. They're super, super cute and I do like it. I'm also a big fan of any packaging that's just really good and feels good and just creative. It always gets me, so that's why I get two. This lipstick retails for $50 Canadian. It's supposed to be a long wearing. So I'm going to do some swatches for you guys. So first when you open it, this is how it looks like. So really, like you get this little round ball and I don't know, I, I really like it. The first thing that I wanted to swatch is the Taupe Ispahan. This is the matte finish and the number is 076. Ooh, and before I touch this, I'm gonna show you the details of this lipstick as well. I don't know if you guys can see. That is the detail you can tell. It really does look like an art over there. They're like meticulously draw this thing where I don't know how they did it. But yeah, it's very, very interesting. And then the other one is the 075 Rouge Cappuccine. So I'm gonna go with that because maybe it's the right one. Anyway, so that is the color. And you can see the detail. Hopefully you can. It's very, very small. I really love it. I really love the way how this design. So let's swatch you guys. Swatch over here. This is a matte finish. And that is the shade Taupe Ispahan. Also, I'm gonna swatch the Rouge Cappuccine. So this one has a very interesting finish. So it's supposed to be a satin. And it has that metallic finish to it. Both of this color are so beautiful in person. And yeah, I'm excited about the Rouge Cappuccine because it's something that I don't have. It's like a nice, almost like red, but it has that metallic or satiny finish to it. But it's less glossy, so I'm excited. First thing that I want to apply is I think I'm going to go with the cappuccino. Okay, so let's apply this. So that is the shade Rouge cappuccino it is a satin it's very very interesting because to me it is matte with that metallic very very fine metallic into the lipstick so it is quite different than something that we have seen when we talk about satin but I like it because it's supposed to be a long wearing but the color what do you think guys I like it I like the color it's very very unique it's almost like vintage orange to me that it's not so bright, it's also not so red, but it's also not like, I don't know, it's weird. it's weird and it's hard to explain. But anyway, that is the shade. You can see it's very glamorous, it's so elegant and it goes on really well. Okay, so I'll take a look at one more time and we're gonna go ahead applying the matte finish Taupe Ispahan. <laughs> it's hard to remember these names. Okay, I'm gonna clean my lips and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's move on to the next shade which is the Taupe Ispahan. I'm excited about this one as well. 
and let's see how it looks like. So that is the first application, maybe like two swipe, and I'm just gonna make a clean line. Okay, so taupe is a hand. There you go, guys. You can see. It is very nice. It is not a unique color though, not a unique shade. I've definitely have seen something like this before. I actually have very, very similar from NARS. I have something like this. I also have a very similar from a drugstore brand, which is, I think that was a Maybelline. I just recently purchased that and I really like the texture of that as well, but definitely a comfortable one and when they say about matte finish it's actually a creamy matte so it's not like a drying matte formula so this is how it looks like one more time so i'm going to remove this lipstick and i'm going to reapply the other one because i want you guys to see that a little bit more while i'm wearing it and you guys can decide which one you like the most but let me just clean this up and i'll be right back Okay, so it's time for my final thought about this two lipstick that I showed you guys today and why do you think I did apply this lipstick again for a very special reason. Of course, I love it, okay? So my final thought for this lipstick, first of all, let's consider the price. It is $50 Canadian. It is not cheap. It is Dior. You're paying for the brand and the product. Just want to mention a couple of things with the packaging of this lipstick. First of all, it is very solid. It feels very luxurious. It feels something like there is a value in this one. And the other thing that I want to mention to you guys is this lipstick is not magnetic. So it's just a click. So you can hear that click, but it's not magnetic. But it's heavy enough that you can feel the value of the lipstick. Packaging is not cheap at all. It is so well done. It is, it is good quality, guys. And let's jump into the conclusion of this product first of all this shade guys i'm telling you oh my god i actually went to the other mirror with a different light and i'm like studying it a little bit more and closer i love it guys like i'm obsessed with the shade the quality the finish and the way how it sits on the lips it's so comfortable it is so creamy Oh my god, I just love it. I just love this is my holiday lipstick this year and I can't wait to 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 just wear this whenever I go if I have any party to go or holiday or Christmas party. I hope we have something. But anyway, really really good guys. The other lipstick is the Taupe Ispahan. I would say that the formulation it doesn't apply evenly on my lips. I don't know if my lips is just a little dry, but that's what I noticed tonight. I have to swipe so many times to just cover up some of my lips. It's not very consistent. When I put this one on, bang on, you can see the pigmentation and it applies evenly. With that one, it's not as good as this one. So that's why I reapply this one more time so you guys can see and really look at the way how it finished. So it's not red. It's also not orangey, but it definitely leans towards orangey and metallic. Very, very subtle metallic into it, which is giving it a little bit more character and it's giving it a little bit more... It's interesting. I love it. I just love it. I'm like in love with this shade right now. So if you have a chance to get this and if you love this type of color and if you don't have something like this or you just want to have something new for holiday season, okay, I definitely would recommend this shade guys. It is the Rouge Cappuccine 075. So absolutely. I would say this shade is definitely worth it for how much it is, the packaging and everything. It all comes together. It's very, very good. And the other shade, I wouldn't really like say it's $50. Uh, no, because the consistency and the formulation of that i feel like it's just a little bit less impressive so that's everything that i wanted to say and i hope you enjoy this video and i hope it's useful if you are looking forward to get this lipstick i would 100 recommend this one right here one that i'm wearing okay thank you so much guys for watching if you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the notification bell so that you are updated whenever i have a new upload thank you again and i will see you next time bye guys